morning, student. Good morning, madam. How are you? I'm good. How are you, madam? I'm also good. Uh, my name is Sarita Ganger. I'll, I'm a new face here. I'll be here with you for six weeks. My, could you please introduce yourself? My name is Yash Gounder and I'm from Nangoro Recreation. Okay. Well, today, before starting our class, we'll be playing a game. Actually, it's not a game. It's a song named Bingo. So, it's a song you, you I'll sing with you. Uh, you'll sing at first verse will be a slow verse. The middle one will be in uh, medium medium face and the last one will be in the fast face right you'll sing very fast so the song goes like this two three there was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name oh b-i-n-g-o b-i-n-g-o and bingo was his name oh. there was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name oh. b-i-n-g-o b-i-n-g-o B I N G O and Bingo was his name. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O and Bingo was his name. Are you awake? Do you like the song? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Today we'll be learning about sewing machine parts and its functions. Before. Uh, going into the concept, first tell me what is this picture? Do you recognize this picture? Do you have you seen somewhere at home or in town in shops? A sewing machine. Okay, it's a sewing machine. Most of you must have seen it because uh, it's 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 at your home, okay? Or you must have seen in shops being sold in shops like coats and also in tailor's shop, okay? So today we'll be learning basically the parts of each, the parts of this sewing machine, different parts of this sewing machines. Uh, this is one of the important equipment that is used to sew the clothes, the clothes that you are wearing. It is being sewn by this kind of machines. Okay, so it is very important to know that how our clothes are being sewn through this. So before that, we should know about its parts. So it is an electric sewing machine, a modern electric sewing machine. Uh, the first, first part of this sewing machine is number one, power stitches. Power stitches, sorry, sorry, it's power switches. Power switches, simply it switches on the light. After you plug in the wire of the sewing machine, the second most important thing is this: when you start sewing the cloth, you will on the on this machine, this switch, power switch, in order for the light to on in your sewing machine, and you can sew it effectively. Number two is the presser foot. Presser foot is this part. This is presser foot. This is presser foot. It holds the fabric in place. Uh, when you put down a lever down from here, it will hold the fabric while it is being sewn. Okay. Number three is throat plate. It is a metal plate that covers the feed dog. This is a throat plate. That is a throat plate okay when i was explaining you the definition the function of throat plate there's a new term that you have come towards is a feed dog feed feed dog okay so feed dog number four feed dog simply means it moves the fab feed dog's function is moves the fabric while being sewn when the presser foot is uh, being loaded, it, it uh, holds the fabric in place, okay? The feed dog that is right down below here, this part, this part moves the fabric. While you saw the, saw the garment or a, material or a fabric, you don't pull it by yourself. The feed dog, it push, moves your fabric. While it is being sewn. Understood? 
Yes, ma'am. Number five. Number five part is needle clamp. Needle clamp it holds the needle in place. The needle that is being used, this is a needle. The clamp here, this is a needle clamp which holds the needle, which fixes the needle in the machine in order to sew the cloth. Then thread take up lever. It controls the thread as it regulate as it flows through the needle. Thread take up lever, it controls the thread as it flows through the needle. Thread Thread take up lever is here. This part is thread take up lever. It, uh, it takes up the thread as it uh, controls the thread as it flows through the needle. Then number seven, it is upper tension regulator. It controls tightness and looseness of the thread. Upper tension regulator is this one. Upper tension regulator. Thread guide. It keeps thread in correct position. This is a thread guide. Then spool pin. It holds the spool of thread. This is spool pin. That is spool pin. What you when you start threading, the spool pin will be here. Then you bring the thread to here, to there, take up lever down below and to the needle. Insert it in the needle and you start start sewing. Then comes bobbin winder. It winds the thread on the bobbin. Balance wheel number eleven. Balance wheel. It controls the movement of the needle. This is a balance wheel. That's it. Balance wheel. Then number 12. Bobbin case. It holds the bobbin. This is a bobbin case. Okay. The bobbin is inside this. Okay. This is a bobbin case. You insert the bobbin. As it says. Holds the bobbin. It holds the bobbin. Here. Okay. This holds the bobbin, as you see. Bobbin case, bobbin, it holds the bobbin. Then, bobbin round, it is a spool that holds the bobbin thread in the machine. Then, the last one is foot control, which moves and stops the machine safely. Number 14, again, foot control, it moves and stops the machine safely. Well, uh, well, the mach the foot control is not being done in this poster, but later I'll be showing you in an actual sewing machine. Okay. Okay, student. Uh, as we were discussing earlier about the electric sewing machine, so this is another kind of electric sewing machine, but it is a bit older version of it. Uh, we were talking about first first few things that we have to we were talking about the first new term we came across was the feed door so let me show you what is feed door this is feed door it moves fabric while being sewn this is presser foot it holds the fabric in place while being sewn the when you put the lever down it holds the fabric and this when and this part moves the fabric while being sewn this is this is throat plate. This is throat plate, uh, and uh, and down below it is the foot control. It is it it controls this the stitched foot control it controls the machine. Sorry. Uh, this is the balance wheel. This is the balance wheel. Mm -hmm. Again, this is presser foot. This is feed dog. It moves the fabric. And this is throat plate. Okay, have you understood 
the parts and its function of a sewing machine? Okay. Since you have understood the parts and functions of a sewing machine, this is your individual uh, activity. Please do this activity and we will mark it in our next class. Uh, okay. Since you said that you have understood, please can you define the term, can you say the function of bobbin case? Oh, it, uh, it is used to hold the bobbin. It is used to hold the bobbin. Yes. The function of a bobbin case is to hold the yes. bobbin. Can you identify from these two parts which one is a bobbin case? This one. Okay, this is a bobbin yes. case. It holds the bobbin. Yes. Thank you. Next uh, question is, can you please state the function of feed dog? It moves the fabric while sewing. It moves the fabric while sewing. Good. Please do your individual activity. Uh, uh, and uh, this is the end of our class. Do you have any questions? No, no, no. Okay. Thank you. And this is the end of our class. Thank you.